We are back on Raid Shadow Legends Free Stew. We've got a brand new account. This is a brand new free to play 2022 Stew Gaming. And of course, we picked Gaelic. We've got his picture up there. The best champion to always get is Kale. I don't know how we're going to make it without Kale. And I'm being quite serious right now. Perhaps you're right. If you don't start this game and pick Kale, there's something seriously wrong with you. And you want to make the game much harder than it has to be. I'm going to give you some advice on what you should do to start your account for 2022. And then I'm going to let you know what I'm aiming for to get done. And we are going to play this account this whole entire year. Promise. Of course, we're going to get Drekstar Blood Twin from 3v3 as soon as it opens up at level 35. We're going to hit the Forge at level 30. That's when everything changes. This Forge opens up at 30 and you get an insane gear boost. That doesn't mean we're going to change the gear on our main farmer, which we're going to take to 60 right away and get his masteries immediately, which we're probably just going to pay for with gems. We'll get those masteries and then we'll make our way into Dragon to try to beat Dragon 13 without Kale. Please, oh please, let me pull a Poisoner. Frozen Banshee, something. I don't care what it is. Please, oh please, give me a Poisoner game. I'll take anybody just to get through Dragon because that's the progress in this game. You got to get that hurdle, Dragon 13 done, so you can start getting that five to six star gear and then take that gear and branch out everywhere else. Now, when the Forge opens at 30, we're going to get some insane Perception gear, but I'm not going to put it on our Farmer. By then, we're going to be farming Lifesteal gear from campaign all the campaign lifesteal gear five star lifesteal gear even if it's green we're just going to roll on it we're going to have speed boots we're going to have attack here and attack here and we're just going to be fast and get all that life back and kill everything quickly but with the forge gear we are going to put it on our supporting cast anybody else that we're using anybody else that we roll for please again give me some good epics we're not going to use any legendary champions on this free to play now, I know Hell Hades just started a free-to-play account yesterday, and I'm copying him. I am. I'm copying what he's doing. He's doing a free-to-play. He started with Gaelic, and he's doing it without legendaries. Any legendaries he pulls, I think he says he's going to eat it or do something weird with it. So whatever he does, we're doing this. But I don't know if our road map is going to be the same. So I'm getting to 30. We're getting to 35 to 3v3 opens. We're going to make our way to get a token every single day to get our Drekstar Blood Twin because we want that accuracy lead and we want everything that Drekstar can do for us. We're going to make it to Dragon. We're going to get done with Campaign, Brutal Campaign. We're going to get our shards to open as we get done with that. I'm going to play the hell out of this account today, all day, every single day, and update you all on this because really there's not a lot going on in the game. I do want to say that if you are a first time player of Raid or if you're looking to start a new account, make sure you come over here to missions and look ahead of to what you need to do because missions are going to tell you to do silly things in the game that you shouldn't have to do like upgrade another six offensive artifact pieces to level eight for a different rare hero now this is our rare attack based hero this can be our kale it can be any of your starters but it's going to tell you to do this with another one and if it does what i do is i take a one star artifact piece all one stars, I save them and I put them all on someone, some attack based champion. I level that one star artifact up to four, up to eight, whatever it tells me to do, because it's really cheap to level a one star up because you're not going to need this many attackers to start off with. You're not going to need to level up this crazy gear that it tries to get you to level up. It doesn't need to be the four star gear that they give you. It doesn't need to be any high gear at all. It just needs to be on the right hero that they tell you to the right type support attack. And then it needs to be leveled up to eight. So if you look over here and it's going to tell me to do another attack based champion with the same kind of gear, save these one stars because then I equip them and I upgrade them super cheap to upgrade a one star. And then when I'm done with that, I can just sell it and not worry about it. The game should be revised. The whole beginning process should absolutely be revised. So you don't have to do silly things and come in here for these challenges. I am not doing these challenges. I can tell you right now that I've started many free to play accounts and I've ignored these challenges. Do you get good stuff? Yeah, you get books, you get summons later on, but it's not worth the headache. This is ridiculous to tell you to go back to something that you pass in the first two hours of playing the game and tell you to farm something like a percentage attack piece gear over and over that you will not use 
It's so, so ridiculous. So for me, for you as a new player to the game, you can. You can go through this all you want. Now, I might go back to some of those later on. Possibly. I don't think I'm going to need it. I will do the missions. The missions are very important. We're going to get to our Arbiter eventually, and there's really good rewards. And these are okay. These kind of make sense. The challenge is I just don't want to go back and do them, and I've skipped them before. I don't see a reason to have to do this. We can make it up with books. It's okay. It's making it harder for me anyways on my free-to-play, so that's fine. We can go back and do them as we have time. If we want to and we see that, hey, we can knock this out really quick, we can go back and do that later on. I just... It's very, very boring, and I really want this beginning process streamlined so that new players will really enjoy Raid Shadow Legends and can get to that six star, that first six star with their masteries and just go ham and enjoy the game. But I don't know if they're looking to do that. I don't think they're looking to do that at all this year. So I'm ignoring that. I'm going with the missions. I'm going to level 30. We're taking our Gaelic all the way up to 60. We're not going to, we're going to ignore everybody else. We're going to have some hurdles when we go through campaign at this dragon <laughs> this dragon here is a beast right here at godfrey's crossing that dragon can heal himself or does healing based off of our damage we do i don't know when i have kale it's much easier to get up poisons and beat that dragon we're just gonna have to overpower it bring in some support the support hey look at this nice rewards the support they give us in this game is <laughs> utter garbage so we'll see what we can do. We've got to just roll and get other champions out there. Of course, we're going to log in and get Shaman. You know what's better than Shaman? Grinner, a rare champion. Way better than Shaman. They give us Shaman to help us out in the beginning of the game. Great. They give us War Priest. One of the, one of the worst healers in the game. Just ridiculously underpowered to give you heals, to keep you alive. Little baby increase attack, sure. I know I'm complaining right now, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of, of the struggles that we're going to face. So I'm hoping that we pull some decent, decent champions. There are a lot of epics in this game. Epics I have no problem with. I love epics. Rares in this game, though, and it's been proven by the company telling me this, that the rares are not built to take you very far in the game at all. And you might be like, oh, Stu, rares can be used almost anywhere, not stage, well, even stage 21 to 25. And of course, in late game faction wars, they can with good gear. But rares with crappy gear, whew, man, a struggle, a complete struggle. But I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be really fun. I'm going to be playing this all day today, all day, to every day. I mean, this is what I'm going to be playing for Raid Shadow Legends. My focus is to get Drexlar, Blood Twin, and then to move forward through Dragon. We've got to get Dragon 13 done. We've got to get that Drexlar, Blood Twin. It's going to take about 100 days to get Drexlar. No, probably 120 days or so to get a Drexlar, Blood Twin. So by the time we're up to getting our Scylla the Drakes, we can get a Drexlar, and who knows what we'll pull along the way. Hopefully something really good, and I don't know, I might have to wait. You guys let me know, should I save my shards only for a two-time summoning event? I'm going to keep playing my ass off right now because there is an event going on. So maybe I'll get some ancient shards, which I will. I'm going to get quite a few here in just a minute, and I'll open those, and I'll record it to see if we get anything great. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.